Hi, welcome back. This is video number six from Fox Triple Eight. So I've gone again and the asteroid script. We got Reggie Body that force and then all this crazy stuff <laughs> for making the ship moving around. You can just go ahead and duplicate it. Hit enter, paste it, and up here, I'm gonna just go ahead and do public float, make an orbit variable. So rotate speed. Let's do well, let's do parity. I can double click on it, copy, and then <coughs> paste it for rotate speed instead. And then instead of saying at force, press the dot and park. And then now when you go ahead and hit play your asteroid will start spinning and rotating. I mean it will start rotating and moving. So we got that guy going around. He has his own little life. Okay. So now next off we're gonna go ahead and start making this level look a little bit more nicer. You know blue screen kinda <laughs> it reminds me of my computer trying to die. Blue screen of death. Go ahead click on assets. <coughs> Import package. In this case, I want skyboxes. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now oh, that's off. Ah, sorry, it's taking a little bit. And next time we'll probably pause the video. <laughs> okay, so now you made a folder called standard assets. See, now it's more organized. Let's go ahead and open up my skyboxes. The one I'm probably going to use is the one that says Starry Night. Now, there's something we need to do here because when you look down, all you're going to see is just straight up black. This one right here, the last texture right here, if you click on it, it opens up this. So now what you want to do is look for the one that says Starry Night up and then click and drag it right here which is down negative Y just like that. Now click on edit render settings and that's the thing here is the skybox material so that was starry night I can just go ahead and click on drag and now I can just look around and then you see now I got my starry night. If I didn't ha change that texture you will see straight up black because the camera is going to be looking like this for the most part. Okay. And then later on the wall is going to be invisible Obviously, we want it more bigger, bigger type scene. So go ahead, Control S to save, or you know, save your scene. Now the next part we're probably gonna start doing is, uh, let's see. Yeah, we got we gotta end up starting shooting at something at the asteroid. Yeah, let's go ahead with that. So I'm gonna go ahead, go to assets, import a package, and then this time we're gonna add the particles. Okay, now that your particles are important, go to game object, create order, and then create a plane. I'm going to click on my little Y here, so I'm looking on top of my ship. Press R, so I can resize it, and then we're pretty much making it kind of like the size of the, whatever size you want your bullet to be. Just like that, and press right here. Make sure this thing is on zero on the Y. So that's going to be my bullet size. Skin it up a little bit, just like that. Move it up. Then go ahead and go to game object, create order, and add a box collider. Anything that you want to collide with something, you need to add some kind of collider. Oops, component, excuse me, physics, box collider. Um, replace, yes, replace. Then where it says size on the Y, you can go ahead and increase that. There you go, so it collides with something. If we go under it, you won't be able to see it. Okay, and then now you can go ahead component physics rigid body. Make sure grab is turned off. On constraints, just freeze the position on the Y on the X rotation and Z rotation. And now last thing we might need, or actually we need a little more. If you open up your little particles, hopefully you did import that, go to sources and textures, there's several textures you can bring in. In this case I'm gonna add the one that says spark 
and then you just click and drag it like that to his scene. And when you let go, oh my, got my little bullet going on here, looking like. Now something else I can do. Let's go ahead and click on. Let's see, uh, I believe it's smoke, maybe. Yep, smoke. Okay. Click on your plane. Click on it again. Name it bullet. Now press F to frame on it. And now drag the smoke trail. Since it's already framed, I can just click on smoke trail. Game object. Move to view. Just like that. And then drag the smoke trail on the bullet so it's parented. Now, now if I just click on my bullet itself and I start dragging, you see? I got my little smoke trail going. Now what you need to do is make it a prefab. We're pretty much setting up the bullet. Go ahead, go on prefabs, right click, create, prefab, and then I'm going to name it bullet or laser, whichever way you want to call it, and then just drag it on it. And then you see, if it turns blue, that means it's a prefab. So now you can actually delete that right there. We don't need it right now. Now that's one thing that we do need. Something else that we do need. Go ahead and click on game object, create empty game object. Click on it to rename it. We call it muscle. And this is going to be the place where the bullets are coming out from. So if I click on my ship, press F to frame it, then click on my muscle, game object, move, move to view. Then I can just go like this right here. And make sure you add some space to it so it won't collide with the ship. Then this muscle, you just drag it right onto the ship. Just like that. Then make sure you hit save. You can't control S to save. Okay, so in the next video, I'm going to teach you how to actually shoot the bullet out. Okay? Y'all have a nice day.